Now, it was hailed as a medical breakthrough by people suffering from chronic fatigue syndrome, or ME, a study suggesting a potential link with the virus. Campaigners said it provided proof that the condition wasn't just psychological and could lead to effective treatment. But two years on, that report has been retracted by the leading scientific journal that published it after a series of other trials failed to back up the results. Well, joining me now is Dr Jonathan Stoy, the head of virology at the National Institute for Medical Research. This is another really embarrassing setback for the scientific community after all the MMR debacle, isn't it? I don't think it's as embarrassing as people would make out. We've had such, some such occasions, but they're very few and far between. Um, and I think this, this seemed a perfectly normal paper when it first appeared. I don't think there was anything that we could have discerned beforehand that could have prevented this happening. But poor quality control, uh, contaminated data, how could this happen? These are schoolboy errors, aren't they? Well, the paper had very reputable authors. Um, it was closely peer-reviewed. I wasn't one of the reviewers, but I believe it was very closely reviewed. Um, I think such things can happen. It's a real blow to ME sufferers, though, isn't it? Oh, yes. I think many of them had set their, their hopes on this as being leading to a cure for the condition. And the, uh, uh, behind that was this activist campaign to try and stop the, the truth getting out. I mean, that was pretty iniquitous, wasn't it? I've uh, asked myself about this. Uh, I, if I was suffering from that condition, I would be pretty annoyed too. And, but it's, I think it's fair to say that we possibly haven't done as much for such people as they might have expected. Uh, no, I wouldn't have liked to have had death threats. And it certainly won't encourage people to go into this field. And what this field does need are, is fresh blood and, and new research in the area. Are we as far off discovering the real cause of ME as ever? I think so. Jonathan Stoy, thank you very much for coming in.